So you want to go backpacking, but you don't want to break the bank. Cue the music. What's going on guys? I'm JK and this is JK is Hiking where I am all about backpacking, hiking, and gear. And today we're going to talk about getting out in the backcountry without having to go broke in the process. So here we are two months into summer and you're wanting to get into backpacking. It's really nice outside and you would like to get into the outdoors but you're not sure you can afford it. Today, I'm hoping that I can help you to find some of those items that you need to get out into the back country. Real quick disclaimer, there are two items that I'm not gonna be talking about today, and those two items are very simple. I'm not gonna be talking about backpacks, and I'm not gonna be talking about hiking shoes. The reason why is that I don't believe that you should just buy either one of those two things based solely on the price. Those are two items that can actually damage your body if not used properly. If you have the wrong size backpack or it's not designed to fit your body, you can actually hurt your back, hurt your neck. You can make your backpacking experience completely miserable. So I personally would rather have you go out to your local outfitter, try on all the different kinds of backpacks that, that you want to, and, and pick one out. Go online and look at different companies. Find something that fits you, and be willing to fork out maybe a little bit of extra cash for that item. There's also the option of getting online and finding those items used after you've been at your local outfitter if you're not really wanting to spend a premium price on a brand new piece of backpacking gear. It's better that you find what's good for you at the price that you're comfortable with than just find the cheapest thing that's out there. The other thing I don't believe we should ever go cheap on our hiking shoes. Plantar fasciitis, black toes, sore feet, blisters, these are all things that can happen if you don't have the right shoe. Just buying a hiking shoe because it's cheap is not the wisest thing in the world. So today I will not be talking about hiking shoes. What I will be talking about though is a pillow, a sleeping pad, a sleeping bag, a stove, a sit pad, a shirt, shorts, and hopefully make your backpacking experience not something that's going to drain your entire bank account. As a matter of fact, the 10 items that I'm going to be talking about today are going to come in at just under $310. That's 10 backpacking items that you could spend more than that just on a tent. Oh, and uh, by the way, the tent's included in this. The first item that we're going to talk about today is this guy right here. And no, this is not a sleeping pad. This is actually a sleeping bag. This is the Aegis Max UL sleeping bag. It weighs in at a whopping 14.4 ounces. That's right, it weighs less than a pound. You can find this sleeping bag on Amazon for a whopping $80. I defy you to find a down sleeping bag that weighs less than a pound that comes in at $80. But I will tell you, this is a great little sleeping bag. I've taken it out on several trips. It's very comfortable. It's not something you're gonna take out into winter conditions, but in the heat of the summer, this is the perfect sleeping bag. As you can see, it compresses way down in size. So this is a very, very good sleeping bag to have, and it only costs $80. Here's the actual sleeping pad. I picked this up just before I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in 2016. I wanted a sleeping pad that was lightweight, that would get me off of the ground, but would still have some firmness to it. And truthfully, this is a very firm pad, but it's a very comfortable pad. Weighing in at only 14.4 ounces, it actually weighs less than my Nemo Tensor insulated sleeping pad that I use now. For a sleeping pad that weighs in at 14.4 ounces, it only costs $39.95 less than $40 for a sleeping pad. If you're looking for something you can trust, if you're looking for something that's lightweight, and if you're looking for something that's not gonna break your bank, this is a fantastic sleeping pad. My back isn't the only thing I'm trying to protect when I'm on the trail. I also like to protect my backside. What I have here is the Free Wind Sit Pad. I've said it before, I always take a chair with me when I go backpacking, but when I stop for lunch or snack, I don't wanna have to set up my chair. I want to set this up and know that I'm not going to be covered in dirt 
or mud or rotten wood or whatever else I could possibly be sitting on. These things are fantastic. You can find them on Amazon for four dollars. Four dollars for one of these things and they weigh right around an ounce. It's super lightweight but it gets the job done and that's really all you can ask for from one of these things. That's only four dollars. Next up on my list is this guy right here. This is the X Pillow from Climate and you can get this thing right now for ten dollars. On their website I'm putting a link below for that. A kit pillow that you can trust that's comfortable that only costs ten dollars is unbelievable. You can't even get the Trekology pillow for that cheap. Even though this is the cheapest pillow I own, it's my favorite pillow. It's extremely comfortable. I've talked about this many other times. I actually did a video on pillows. If you want to, you can check that card out right up here. Click on that video and give it a look and you can see all the different pillows that I reviewed. This came out as my number one and it was also the cheapest one I could afford. Now, I don't know how many of you have a Sam's Club in your town. I would dare say if you don't have one in your town, you probably have one in the next two or three towns over. I would go check them out because that's where I found this shirt right here. This is the Reebok Men's Active T-shirt. It's made with polyester. It's a sweat wicking T-shirt that performs very well, and I spent a total of less than $10 on this t-shirt. If I was to buy the same style t-shirt from Under Armour or Nike, or if I was to buy it from Patagonia, Outdoor Research, Mountain Hardware, I'm looking at a minimum $25. But I was able to get this shirt right here for 10. They have them online right now. You can get them in three different colors, in all different sizes, and they're extremely comfortable and they do the job. When it's nice and hot outside, I love this shirt because it keeps me cool, it allows my body to cool down without getting too wet from all the sweat that I'm dealing with when I'm hiking in the backcountry. And really, this is just a tip. Go check out your Sam's Club, go check out your Costco. Check these places out and see what they're selling. You may find another deal just like this. You don't have to spend crazy amounts of money to get active clothing that you're gonna be able to wear when you're in the backcountry. Again, I don't wanna spend a lot of money on clothing, and so I've got these shorts right here. These are the Russell Athletic Dry Power 360 running shorts. This actual model isn't made anymore, but I bought these for $11 at my local Walmart. And these are my favorite hiking shorts. If you haven't realized it already, you don't have to wear hiking pants or hiking shorts to go hiking. You just need to find what's most comfortable for you and that's gonna perform well when you're in the backcountry. And for me, I personally like to wear running shorts when I'm out in the backcountry. The new version of these shorts come in at $9.44. And when you can spend less than $10 on them, I say you go do it. Like many other backpackers, I use the BRS 3000 stove. This mighty little piece of equipment weighs in at a whopping 25 grams, but it performs wonderfully. I watched some videos of guys like Darwin and Bigfoot and some other guys, and it just seemed like everybody was talking about this little stove that only cost $16.95. That's right, this thing is so cheap. You're gonna spend 40 or $50 to get an MSR or any other name brand stove, and this guy costs $17. They're all over Amazon and they're super easy to find. I've heard a lot of people say that they've seen these legs bend under a lot of heat, and personally, I've never experienced that. Uh, this stove has been fantastic for me and I've been using it for a little over a year now. It's never failed, it's worked every time and for $17 and less than an ounce, you can't go wrong with this stove. Next on my list is a tent, the Midori Solo Tent from Eureka. I got this as a Christmas present a couple years ago. It weighs in at about three pounds and 10 ounces and it's a single person tent and it gets the job done. The Midori Solo Tent costs $129 directly from Eureka's website. You can go on there, browse all the different tent options, but the Midori is a fantastic option. It is lightweight, it's not ultra light, but it is lightweight, weighing in at about three pounds and 11 ounces, and it costs $129. It's hard to find a good tent from a manufacturer you can trust that's gonna hold up under harsh conditions. If you're looking for an inexpensive option from a brand that a lot of people trust, you should check out the Eureka Midori Solo. 
It's a great tent at a great cost. There's two other places you can save weight and you can save money when you're going out backpacking and the first thing is a water bottle. New backpackers inevitably go out and buy Nalgene bottles because they think that's what all backpackers use when they go out into the backcountry. And the truth is, fewer and fewer backpackers are using those every single year. Most of us are using smart water bottles. These things, brand new, a bottle of smart water will cost you $1.69 at your local grocery store. And for that $1.69, you have a lightweight bottle that you can reuse over and over and over again. These things are awesome for the trail too because they typically fit really well in the side pockets on your backpack. When I go out and I know there's not going to be a lot of water on the trail, uh, I'll have two one liter bottles like this and another 20 ounce that'll be sitting right here on my chest so that I have access to water at all times. Nalgene bottles can cost you anywhere from $15 to $25. This costs a buck 69 and it's half the weight. You want to save almost $15 on the trail? Buy a couple of these and you're going to have water for days and great water bottles that are going to be much easier to store and weigh a fraction of what those other bottles do. Another thing a lot of beginner backpackers do, and I know because I did it, is I went out and bought a ton of stuff sacks. And stuff sacks aren't cheap. $20, $30, 40 even $50 if you're going to get something made with a Dyneema composite. If I would have known what I know now, I would have gone to my grocery store, spent $6, and gotten 35 of these things. Ziploc bags are your heroes on the trail. I use them to pack food, I use them to pack electronics, I use them to pack my first aid, and I use them to pack my toiletries kit. There's no need to spend money on these stuff sacks when you can have something that weighs next to nothing and is waterproof that you can take on the trail with you. Like I said, $6 will buy you 35 of these things. $6 won't even buy you one stuff sack. So what about you guys? What are some items that you've bought online or in a store that you use on the trail every time you go out that you bought at a ridiculously low price? Leave those comments below and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can always be notified when one of these new videos drops. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. John can't talk today. Let's do that ag again. Under the stars. Under the stars, loving the Lord. That was a motorcycle. Just, you know, still, still out there. Maybe he's doing donuts out in front of my house. The struggle is real. This is the perfect backpack. As Fort <laughs> in the trail and you can't talk. That's a stupid comment I'm not even gonna use.